I'm Bill Densmore. We're in Detroit, Michigan at Wayne State University on the final day of the Journalism That Matters convening, and I'm talking to Beth Mastin from New Roots to Community Health in Madison, Wisconsin. And I wanted to ask you, why did a healthcare professional come to this event, and how did you learn about it? What have you learned from it? What are you leaving behind? What are you taking with you? Right. Well, um, I guess I wouldn't characterize myself either as a journalist or a healthcare professional. Okay. Um, the work that I've done for about 25 years is creating ways for community to engage with media. Uh, so whether it's a national documentary that has a national outreach plan or uh, funding that goes direct to communities to create their own content or media around um, particular issues, oftentimes health. Um, what I do is uh, be the conduit for the funds to the community and provide the technical assistance for them to successfully leverage the message from the media. And is this a national organization that's based in Madison or more state or regional? Um, well, New Roots to Community Health is a national program funded by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, mm -hmm. and I'm the national program officer. Mm -hmm. I live in Madison, but my team is a virtual team. Um, the national program office uh, constitutes people from Washington, D.C., from Madison, from uh, a couple of locations in California. Mm -hmm. um, so um, we, we're a virtual team. Yeah. And what did you expect coming? What uh, Did it meet your expectations or was it something different? Mm -hmm. And as I said, what, what did you bring? What did you take away? Right. The reason I came is that uh, at the conclusion of our um, grant program, which will be uh, at the end of this year, at the end of 2010, we're going to pull together a conference of about 50 or so thought leaders uh, around the uh, issue of immigrant-created health media. And I really, I came to see what the flow would be like for this kind of unconference and whether or not that mm -hmm. might be possible for um, people who don't necessarily know each other but uh, are uh, pulled to the conference that we're going to be creating. Um, I think that the strongest takeaway for me was that this was an opportunity for me to see a lot of um, people in their uh, 20s and 30s and what the new wave of journalism and creating content really is. That was incredibly inspiring for me, um, having been in and around the business for several decades now. Um, it's just fantastic to check in on where the energy is flowing and see that the uh, wave that's uh, cresting has a lot of people that really know how to surf well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Beth. All right. I'm just going to capture your name tag.